The purpose of this video is to give you some help with the Lunar Phases lab. The lab document itself will be downloaded from Module 3 in Blackboard and you can see the links to the apps you'll need are in the actual lab. So these are the apps I have them open already and the first thing you're asked to do is to name the phase of the moon in certain positions. So you can grab the moon with your mouse and move it around. Let's say you had wanted the moon to be here, then you can just look at the name and it says waning crescent. It also asks uh, what uh, phase it would be five days later and here you can just increment it just by hitting the day button here five times. One, two, three, four, five. So it would be waxing crescent five days after waning crescent. The next thing it asks you to do is uh, show the angle and you can click on the show angle here and then you can move the moon around to see what happens to the illumination as you change the angle and then you can figure out uh, rising and setting times and it asks you here to use the horizon diagram here's the horizon diagram here but I want to show you some, uh, some observations you could make with regard to moon position and what this little dude here sees now you can actually grab this little dude and move him around and here's what I want you to realize he sees the moon as just as he is here he can only see the moon at this point he can't see the moon down here because it's behind the earth but once it gets here he can see the moon that means the moon is rising take a look at the horizon diagram and you can see what he sees the moon coming up over the horizon then you can see him going around this way and you can see what happens as the moon sets and that's where the moon is setting right there going down below the horizon and that makes sense because as you can see he's going to go around here and that means that the moon is going to be well out of his sight I want you to note that the terminator here the difference between night and day has everything to do with the rising and setting of the sun but really doesn't have very much to do with the rising and setting of the moon so you can see in this instance, for example, the moon rises at night, but it sets during the day. The times of rising and setting are going to be gotten by looking at the observer's local time. So you can see here, we can see what the time would be when it sets and the time it would be when it rises. And all of that's going to be down here. Right, the next part involves a different app and that's this, uh, this app here and here it asks you to put in the latitude for Meisenheim, North Carolina which is 35.5 degrees and then answer some questions. I'm going to use 10 degrees so my answers are going to be slightly different to yours or actually quite different to yours so you're going to have to do this with the thing set at 35.5 and the first question it asks is at 9am you notice the moon in position 5, what is the moon phase? So what you can do, I'm going to move this to a different time just for kicks, but let's say we uh, put 5 in here for the moon position. And it says uh, at 9 a.m. So what we can do is we can move this to the, to the time we want. We move to 9 a.m. And we can see what phase the moon would be. In this case, it would be waning gibbous at, at 9 a.m. At what time of day uh, would you see a full moon in position 2? So we can change this to 2 and then we can change the time to see when we would be seeing a full moon. And there we go, there's the full moon there and we would see the full moon at 9 p.m. It says at 10.30 p.m. you notice a waxing gibbous moon. What is the moon position? So you're going to note the moon position here. I'm going to change this to waxing gibbous. And I'm going to change the time to 10.30 p.m. Which I'm going to have to do manually here. And you'll see that the moon is in uh, position 3 at that time, 10.30 p.m. It won't, you won't actually be able to set it to 10.30 p.m. It's going to lay somewhere in between 9 and 12, 
but you can sort of set it in there and uh, you can get an idea of the moon position that way. Would you be able to see a new moon at midnight? All right, so what we can do is we can adjust our time here to midnight. There's midnight there. And then we, what we can do is we can change the moon position to, to new moon. And we can see that he wouldn't be able to see the new moon. He can only see a new moon if it's above the horizon actually in any position you can only see the new moon if it's or any any moon if it's above the horizon in this case the new moon is well below the horizon so he wouldn't be able to see the new moon there uh, the next thing uh, at what time range would you be able to see a full moon okay so what you can do is you can actually t change the position of this moon here to when it's rising and when it's setting. Let's see if I can grab it. It's pretty hard to grab in that position. Okay, so I'll change the, the time of day here to something different and then change the moon position to when it's uh, when it's going to be rising. And that would be in position one. So what I can do is I can look at the time in position 1, see, see what it looks like when it's rising. And as far as I can see here, a full moon would rise at 6 p.m. And then I can drag the moon. I can move the moon, we'll move it move the moon here using this slider to when it sets and then we can get the time for that as well see if we can see a full moon and there we go 6 a.m. so we could see a full moon between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. according to when it rose and set 